Today, several faith leaders challenged Missouri's abortion ban by filing a lawsuit. It comes just days before what would have been the 50th anniversary of Roe versus Wade. Our Justina Cornell reports from downtown St. Louis with details about the new legal action. Church and state. We are taking action and fighting back. Fighting for justice. Moving their feet to spread their message in downtown St. Louis. These clergy are here to challenge the law. Leaving the Christchurch Cathedral, clergy members and supporters chant and march to the civil courts building. Thursday morning, 13 plaintiffs from six faith traditions announced they were filing an 83 page lawsuit. It would challenge Missouri's abortion ban. It puts our lives at risk. The group may have different faith views, but said they agree the separation of church and state. They impose one narrow religious viewpoint on all of us. However, groups like Coalition Life believe the trigger ban is doing its job. Missouri laws are in fact protecting women uh, here in the state of Missouri. It's protecting children as well. Executive Director Brian Westbrook says Coalition Life helps pregnant women by giving them other options. As for the lawsuit, he says religion isn't the main issue. Any kind of religious uh, take on this issue is really um, secondary. Really, primarily, it's about science. Rachel Laser, president and CEO of Americans United, thinks otherwise. Unless people don't believe that the Missouri bans are religiously motivated, the lawmakers told us so repeatedly when they were passing this law, and they even embedded text in the law itself. While they don't meet eye to eye, advocates for and against the lawsuit say they're both dedicated to their work now more than ever. We have to be there to provide those alternatives. You will not get away with your attempts to control and dehumanize us. Justina Cornell, five on your side.